informations okay so with that ledger provides the complete data visibility and a single source of truth information that is important using a cryptographic keys we are transferring the data in one network okay one single source of network we are transferring so what type of data we are transferring distributed database distributed organized structure of data we are transferring okay that is the definition of the blockchain technology so next thing is i am telling a distributed database so what is the decentralization what is the distributed and why to solve the problem in decentralization okay so decentralization distributed database is known as blockchain technology so why what is the meaning of distributed decentralization so before that we have to know the word supply chain management okay so everyone knows all applications we are having so many apps in your mobile phone we are having train app okay some of the students for a okay size scanner app some of the student okay so logistics uh, transformation or any courier transmission shipment uh, logistics or train app uh, or anything bank tra tra transaction records so many applications okay how we are maintaining real time data we are seeing okay running status of the train okay what is the running status when we will reach the place okay in real time data how we are getting the real time data in a big management big train okay train uh, railway southern railway systems okay that is the supply chain management so now come to this for a simple example i am taking for petroleum industry okay so petroleum industry how what is the meaning of supply chain management what purpose we have to study blockchain it's a new technology someone is telling it's a new technology what purpose they invented the technology that is the basic question first before that you have to know okay for what purpose we invented what is the requirement to invent the blockchain technology not only i told okay so not only for the cryptocurrency and bitcoin some of the another applications today we are using all maximum of the place we are using the blockchain technology okay so for example for supply chain management i am taking a petroleum industry so here petroleum industry first process we have to purchase the crude oil so we have to um purchase the number of crude oil then the crude oil is using the shipment via transportation okay so in india we have store in some places okay crude storage so after the storage okay so we have to go for the refined process so refining with the different products like we will get petrol we will get diesel gas and distribution to the different retailer shop okay so now we have to tell who is the in charge of end we have to start the process first we have to purchase a crude oil then we have to shipment to the crude oil to some india then crude we have to store in some places after we have to take the refining process then we have to distribute to the retailers okay see in upstream mode so this is here in upstream mode exploration and the production handled by the ongc everyone will know ongc okay another one is ovl all indian oil corporation some private entrepreneur okay entrepreneur also there to purchasing of this one so in downstream mode okay upstream node some entrepreneur as there okay government plus private in downstream node okay refining the different products of crude oil and marketing the entire thing is okay this is monitored by the ministry of petroleum and natural gas of india okay so now upstream node they are purchasing downstream node everything is distribution everything monitored by the ministry of india and okay so it has some industry bodies one minute
sorry for the inconvenient okay so in this upstream node as well as downstream node we are having the some monitoring okay so here in downstream who are the everyone will know familiar with who are the retailers bharat petroleum reliance india limited in this and hp petroleum okay so these are the retailers to transferring to this entire thing so now my our question is so now we have to who is the in charge of end to end supply chain of the entire process one person has to purchase one has person has to transportation one for storage everything he has to monitor another one has to refine to get the different products okay who will in charge of the entire process okay so this is the thing one a government or private okay or government private so we have multiple sectors so government sectors private and industry then what is the requirement for the successful supply chain okay so minimum requirement suppose i am producing more crude store uh, refining products okay but retailer they are not getting who will take the in charge okay i am purchasing more crude oil but i am not getting the proper petroleum for distribution to the people then who will take care of that so everything we have to monitor okay for the requirement of the successful supply chain we are in need of strong coordination among the all players okay so the question is who is take care of strong coordination among all what is the successful requirement we have to minimization of the material we have to maximization of the manufacturing capacity we have to meet the demand of the peoples okay we have to respond quickly that is the marketing purpose we but not only for oil for anything we have to respond quickly to the customers okay so that this is a proper successful supply chain the question is who will take care of the strong coordination among all because every players every unit crude oil purchase then transportation their objective is to reach the get the maximum gain okay so they have to organize the demand so company who is manufacturing that also again their objective also to reach to get the maximum gain here so decentralization among all the decentralization is possible sharing the information of multiple business organization okay so every government every but he has own government because we are purchasing crude oil from middle east countries or russian so their government they have the own strategy so that we have to accept so their own different they have the some different uh, their policy their own policies okay so at the end working on the common marketplace so we have to maintain the decentralized architecture so so to maintain the above decentralized architecture i have to maintain a, okay entire decentralized manner so i am need of a web portal in web portal i am entering okay so i am purchased this ton of crude oil so this ton of crude oil is transferred again i have to store this much of crude oil so i am taking a website yeah yes okay i need of the web portal to store all the demand information the question is then what is the guarantee that information is submitted is correct if can anyone can change no who will uh, any first person or second person the purchased one transportation side or any storage side they can change the information as easily okay who is the manage and maintain the entire portal information that is the question this is the concept what purpose we have to invent the new technology okay blockchain technology what is our requirement okay this is the main in our mm -hmm. ama one can switch on the mic please mute students said okay so what is the guarantee that the information submitted is correct who is giving to the validate of the information what is someone eliminate or deny the information later on so we need a decentralized solution 
no one can trust each other but they should cooperate okay so this is the requirement what purpose we have to invent the blockchain the concept of blockchain so we need a strong coordination among all the players so moving toward the decentralization let us assume one blockchain okay so we have to because decentralized we have to trust on each other trust each other but it's not a open thing okay so so moving forward decentralization let us assume one black code just imagine instead of thing i have to use web portal but anyone can enter wrong data any one said can't table to correct okay anyone give the denies any information lack of information okay that is the issue so instead of that just i am inserting one black board in open place okay for among all the coordination supply chain management among the all i am putting one black board here okay so let us just assume one black board everyone get accept to write in the black board everyone can write everyone can see and record the information but can't able to delete the information that is the beauty of the blockchain okay so everyone can write everyone can see everyone can record the information so we can track all the information how much crude oil produced how much transferred how much is refined using the board okay so we can also have the question too much manufactured but only the small amount is transferred okay seeing the database okay the company can ask easily we can ask too much manufactured but only the why we transfer only the small amount we have to maintain a certain property of board okay so the board what is the character property we have to maintain some rules we have to maintain to writing the to write the content in the black board so the board has infinite space to write okay the board has infinite space to write don't okay so don't need to erase the information can't able to erase the information i am having infinite space to write my data but can't able to erase the information so blockchain has power okay it's a model power to find the different corrections on the board so now the question is who will maintain the entire board so entire board who will maintain the same question again arise so everyone has in the individual and independent board okay so everyone can see all the information they can able to verify the information any change in the information is visible to everyone that is important i, I can enter wrong data so something everyone can able to receive the information so in the second place you did a wrong or third one you did a wrong okay so easily we can find the error that is the another one of the property any change in the information is visible to everyone another thing is the board is not erasable no one can deny later it's already i told okay so no one can deny i i already i gave the correct information only so now it's wrong okay not like that okay can't able to argument also so utilization of the board is very important so we have to do a simple only single step auditing only we are using the smart board okay so instead of only single step auditing everyone can know to to select the particular organization but the problem is who will maintain the board government organization or private organization who will maintain so that blockchain entire architecture okay who is going to keep all the records who will maintain the all the records every organization of the store that is a very important already i told retailer may be indian oil lines okay so hb some private sector so crude oil storage crude oil purchase may be monitored by ongl that is indian oil okay some government sectors entrepreneurs private entrepreneur also there government sectors also there okay so every organization have to store their own data okay store their record replace in just okay so now come to the point instead of blackboard i am replacing a particular data structure then it's known as blockchain okay what concept we have to invent the technology okay now we are utilizing the data okay the invention is important 
they face so many issues not only now they invented okay so but they face uh, the issues so we have to maintain the particular data structure okay instead of blackboard i am writing the blackboard instead of blackboard i am using some data structure then it's known as blockchain okay so another beauty of the blockchain is blockchain is immutable no one can change the data okay so no one can able to change the data that is the meaning of immutable so we can append you can uh, can't able to erase but i can add the data okay so another thing is another main property growing chain of data adding new information or adding a new block so data once added cannot be deleted or modified so there is a no central database to store the chain everyone keeps the copy of the chain and process the data okay there is a no central database everyone have to maintain the record everyone there is no central database everyone has to maintain the database okay so and process the data locally so new information i want to add some new information so i have to add some new information this time i am adding this new information okay so in the chain in the form of the new block this the blue color green color is the old information already recorded okay so i am adding the new information this one na. so in this one we if you append any new block from any one industry not only all industry no need to attend everything no need to add everything any one industry you can add automatically added all the industry block okay so blockchain technology and doing one modification automatically it will add in the entire supply chain management so blockchain ensures that every party has the same view of the block okay same view of the blocks always the information is transparent to everyone i am adding the one new block here okay automatically i am adding another all so i am maintaining the transparency to everyone can uh, same case everyone can verify and validate the data okay so chain of blocks they adding the data structure so chain of blocks is known as blockchain decentralized immutable okay so we have to maintain the public ledger because everyone can doing the process this is the main definition of the blockchain same definition only okay so we have to record the information so it's possible how we are recording the information so what are the main features already i told decentralization no need of central authority central authority means one can control the entire thing is the centralization so we are maintaining a decentralization so we can trust we can trust anybody then same case we everyone know all the data no need to depend on any individual organization or any individual industry that is the important but because we are transferring the amount one of another application we are transferring the amount we are having so many banks federal bank hdfc or sbi okay through different sectors we have to transfer the amount so how we are transferring main finance and banking sectors we are using the blockchain technology okay so we can to eliminate the need of central authority second thing is cryptography we are using a some asymmetric key asymmetric key okay so that is i will tell later so the using that we are getting more secure data in transformation then transparency because i will add any one organization automatically in my supply chain management if i add any one data automatically add all the organization all the sectors in that particular organization so i have to maintain the transparency i have to maintain the security then decentralization of the data so first we are storing the data then we are giving some hash value for the data then we have to use the consensus protocol that is the important word okay so here we are maintaining what is the thing first we have to store the data in the 
chronological order we have to maintain the particular time for example so which time i have to get the data just we have to maintain the correct order just imagine s1 s2 s3 coach in a train like you have to maintain the chronological order it's okay so it that order this listing and describing the which event okay so discuss when the event happened and what as relate to the time okay so when events happen as they relate to the time to view what occurred first and what happened after that okay what occurred first so the black 52 5 to 5 to 5 to occurred first and what is the next one that also we have to record distributed ledgers can be a public or private and vary in the structure of the size based on the structure we can vary okay users are not anonymous that is a uh, we we don't know the user who is transferring the amount okay so users are not anonymous so permission is required for user to have the copy of ledger and transaction you have separate id you have again you are in the banking app okay you have the separate id and separate thing so you have required permission to use the have the copy of the ledger everything okay so already told we are using a consensus is okay that protocol so that is nothing but we have to make an agreement a protocol set of rules to transfer the data is known as protocol here we are using that word okay so that is an agreement we have to must made okay so an agreement must made and which blocks to produce and which chain to adopt and to determine single state of the network which one i have to add which one we have to okay so determine the single state of network that we are following that network name is consensus protocol okay so uh, collection of the record distributed recta using cryptographically we are maintaining the chronological order already i told chronological order okay where when it's happened at which relate to, relevant to the time that chronological order we have to store the record in a different server so centralized distribution ledger just imagine before case a previous case now client b having the account someone okay took the account from the client b but a client b can't able to maintain the true state okay so because we are following the centralized ledger so that uh, we have to convince the bank of the true state okay what anything happen any issue happen we have to convince the bank but in case of blockchain technology we are using distributed ledger okay so each and everyone has no no need to maintain that true state okay already everything should be we are following in the true state so no need to maintain everyone will know what happened everything okay so these are the essential cryptography we have to follow so next thing is where we are using the blockchain cryptography digital signature assigned then private and public key proof of work okay so some uh, proof of uh, well, that is a proof of certificate like this uh, that we have to study everything that is one thing as for example um proof of okay that's at, where you are studying where you study then ever what when which year you studied instead of producing the any illegal certificate okay so that everything is maintained that place we are using proof of work validation of transaction another one is using the hash value hash value is important okay hash value in a blockchain is unique value that is the important thing main in blockchain technology you have to know the important character is the hash value okay so it's a unique uh, find length of numeric value hash value is like a okay unique value you have find and length of the numeric value that represent the content of the string okay so which content you are having to transfer okay so hash value provides the secure okay hash value secure the information in a blockchain based on the hash value only we are securing the information such as ensuring that the data in a block is not altered okay so based on the hash value already i told in this slide 
we have to maintain some hash value here validation nonce hash value here i am maintaining some hash value okay so based on this hash value only we can ensure that the data is black is not altered okay so we have to follow the next one in blockchain is a cryptography cryptography everyone we know it's a greek word secret writing okay secret writing without that person can't able to read directly so we have to write something we have to add some extra word we are telling hello instead of hello you are telling okay some adding some more letters or you are telling letters instead of taking a then c okay then e based on that you have to mid, uh, let us you have to use some secret writing if you are using means that is a cryptography so what purpose we have to need the security to secure the data we are using okay so what purpose we have to secure the data okay so you are using the password why we have to use to avoid some misusing of that one okay not one so many applications are there to need the security accountant we have to embezzle the money from the company then uh, spy okay so enemies in military or industry secrets so we have to maintain the military secrets we have to um, maintain the student record we have to maintain okay suppose for example just normal everyone will use tomato sugi okay the database if i am getting the database from sugi automatically i can add which item you added more okay i can steal the data from sugi automatically i can easily i can okay this type of food items more okay so we can sell more type of items that we can easily identify so maintaining the database is very important that is essential thing also okay that we have to maintain the security so in security we have the issues we have to maintain the cryptography okay so here we are using a categories okay so symmetric one and asymmetric one i am using transferring encrypting and decryption of the data here i am using the plain text okay so an original message plain text is my original message okay or an encrypted message is okay so another one is a decryption plain another here i am using a cipher text so in the cipher text is a encrypted version of that message i am adding some code okay decrypted message that is a cipher text plain text is the original message cipher text is the descriptive message okay so here two categories of cryptography symmetry key center and receiver using the same information okay so here center and receiver using the same information i have to use the symmetry key center using private key okay so public key then uh, receiver using the public key that and this is asymmetric cryptography two types of category one is symmetric center and receiver using the same key center and receiver using the different key one from use one can use the public key another can use the private key that is a asymmetric key cryptography in blockchain we are following the asymmetric key cryptography so i want to transfer the money so the, the we, i have to connect to the network in the every mode okay the block is broadcast to every node in the network every node in the network that is a very important point because of that somewhat it will need more requirement cost of invest investment that uh, blockchain technology implementation of this technology we have to maintain the proper server everything is somewhat little bit consumption okay and more con cost but still we are maintaining the security okay so this uh, everything is added a transaction is approved by the network so after that automatically the block uh, everything added to the in the entire network any 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 blocks added to the entire network all knows the decentralized manner after that the money is added to the account b okay main application not only i told it's a bitcoin cryptocurrency okay so some uh, transference smart contracts we can use payment uh, and another one is digitalizing the real world of trading trade market share markets okay it's full they are using the blockchain technology only in industrial voting system real time example for voting systems we can monitor easily okay so another thing is walmart an ibm food court ibm food court they are using walmart they are using 
then amazon aws they are using the okay so using the blockchain technology so another main business oriented another one is uh, in healthcare also i told to maintain the data secret data why we have to maintain the data that is important what purpose then why we i have to maintain my data healthcare data for example ever since cyber crime okay in us one patient has low sugar but the they are changing the record it's have it's it's a happen already uh, oh, sorry it's a, important thing and what is the need we have to maintain the data okay so that person from the opponent person of that uh, patient okay just change the sugar level already is having the normal and low sugar level again he changed the high sugar level 500 like that the insulin level okay sugar level glucose level is 500 actually the original case is 100 only so automatically doctor saying that one okay he got high sugar level so automatically he changed the, the tablets instead of uh, high 500 to reducing that level he changed so extremely got extremely low sugar he went to coma he died that is a crime so can't able to take uh, what happened everything cyber crime they simply changed the database in a healthcare in a medical hospital one of the crime okay so that's what the that important we have to secure our data our case not an issue but if you are a celebrity you have to maintain your healthcare record that is very important so this is the benefits of the uh, what are all the benefits of the blockchain transparency because every system has to know in your organization everyone has to know okay so what happen then uh, how it we have to maintain everything so decentralized and open source and adaptation to the technology so what are the challenges we are facing that is very important so so not a 100% decentralized we are telling it's a decentralized still we are struggling for decentralization of the all okay we have to this is already i told it's a new technology still we are running behind the technology so what is the effects as well as future of the blockchain the iot in our department internet of things okay we have central like monitoring and we have controlled using internet okay the decentralized devices developed by the samsung and ibm so right sharing applications okay so in retail store we are using indian chain that is a tamper proof degree certificate you are studied in a valid organization valid education that is a certificate is a thing original thing okay proof of degree certificate we are using this technology okay so what is the impact we have to know the impact okay what is the efficiency we have to more banking transaction using that blockchain so many times avoided okay so immutable no one can interfere can't able to change the data that is the main important can't able to change the data in between the transaction okay so because of that we have to maintain the security immutable data storage another one is we are maintaining the transparency this is the main impact of the blockchain main application so many applications are there based on cryptography using cryptography okay you can use a healthcare application you can do the projects in healthcare applications or in a, any transaction thing okay so uh, any uh, that is um, not only that retailers or any application walmart that is food any amazon app so in based on that you can use anything as your project thank you any query student side thank you students first of all instead of faculty i have to say thank you for all the students okay for listening the presentation thank you ma i am wasting your dinner time sorry for that thank you all ma'am hello ma yes ma uh, uh, present so i can share he wants to present uh, he wants to share the screen ma'am okay ah, okay
Are you able to share or should I share now? Raghav? Yes, ma'am. I shared it. Oh, okay. okay. Is it visible, ma'am? No, ma no, not yet. No, not yet. Is it visible no more? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, as is the token of appreciation and as a token of love, please accept this memento. And we thank you a lot for this presentation and especially at evening, we disturbed you actually. Thanks a lot. And for students signed up, we have to consider. Nowadays, <laughs> they are their conscious, not like the previous 20 years back. Uh, but I can accept. Uh, I'm having them at the same age of students now. Yeah, their age sure. is equal and my first daughter and second daughter age. Yeah. <laughs> I know them. Uh, in student point of view, I know the difficulties. Uh, no. okay. Thanks a lot for yeah. understanding too, ma'am. Yes. Raka, can we go for a vote, vote of thanks? Yes, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. It's my privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. First and foremost, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Dr. R. Renuga Devi, ma'am, Assistant Professor at Vegans Foundation of Science and Technology and Research, for sharing her valuable time and enlightening us her knowledge of blockchain and technology. A special thanks to our faculty coordinators, Dr. K. Jay Prakasar and Dr. C. Janila, ma'am. Lastly, I want to thank all students and participants for attending this session and making it a success. Thank you. Okay, thanks once again, I thank to Hachodi sir and as well as Dean sir, so Kumar sir, because he is a coordinator for me when I'm studying that period, okay. uh, 20 years Definitely back. we'll convey the yeah. convey here. Yes, sir, know me very well. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks sir. a lot, ma'am. Uh, thanks a thank lot you. to uh, students. Thanks for attending. And we hope that the session might be useful for you for upskilling. So if you are interested, please get upskilled in that blockchain technology too. Thank you, student coordinators. Thank you, Jay Prakash, sir. Thank you, uh, 